Okay, we are going to do problem number... Okay, we are going to do problem number five. It's problem number five. Uh, the isometric picture of it. You are asked to draw three isometric pictorials of the six uh, problems that are given to find the missing view of. So we, we were given the front view and the right side view. We had to create the the missing view up here and now we're going to well, you could say check it you can draw an isometric to check your work or you can draw an isometric to help you visualize uh, what's going on uh, when you're when you're creating the the unknown view okay so to start off we take the isometric grid paper and we create a packing box a box that I call it the packing box this will just barely fit the part. So the part is uh, 8 units tall and 8 units wide and 12, or sorry, 8 units deep and 12 units wide. So I made a packing box, um, this cube, uh, cubish, rectangular cube, uh, to, that, to that size. So it is 12 wide, it is 8 deep, and it is 8 high. Make sure you get that box exactly the right size as your drawing, uh, your orthographic drawing. Otherwise, uh, you will not be able to get this correct. So start off with very lightly drawn. I drew it maybe a little darker than need be, but I want you to be able to see it on the video. So you draw it very light. Some of these lines may end up becoming object lines, but, but not necessarily, so don't draw them too dark. We then start by... Uh, drawing like you do, like you would start a jigsaw puzzle. We would start by, in a jigsaw puzzle, you start by filling in the edges, creating, you know, do the edges first in the corners. That's what we're going to do here, the edges being these three faces. So first we're going to draw what lies on the faces. So if we look at this drawing here, what lies on the top face? The top face is up here. Don't look at the top view, that shows you what's visible in the top. But the top of the part of the box is right here. So this is, what did we label that? We labeled that D. Okay, that's D up on the top. Maybe we can show it outside here. So D is two units from the back. And it is six units from the left side. Two, three, four, five, six. So that's the corner of it and it's two by two. Once you find it, draw it in dark. So this is the plane D. It is on the top face of the box. That's the only thing touching the top face. Eraser's old, it's just smearing. Get a different eraser. Okay, so that's the plane in the top face. What's on the front face? Well, the front face here's the front view, but that just shows us what's visible in the front. What we want to do is go to the right side of you, here is the front face, okay? So that we, I don't know if we labeled that, um, oh, the front face, sorry, I'm looking, the front face is over here, and that is G. So G is two by six, starting at the back, two high, and one, two, three, four, five, six, It is a horizontal, sorry, vertical plane facing to the right, and that is G. Always label it, okay? It, it'll keep you straight if you label it. Uh, and what is on the front face? The front face is this view right here, which I did not label. So what are we up to? J, this would be K. So this is K. Let's see, uh, three units up, it starts one, two, three up, it's one unit high, and the top is, let's see, 12, so this is like 
11 and 10 long. So let's see, that would be along here. Yeah, it looks like it's about 11 long and that one's about 10 long. So let's draw that. Your lines don't have to be perfect, but they should be as close to straight as you can draw them. Now there's also one more thing we know about these planes, and that is we may know some points on these planes. So this point here, this point is point one. And we know no any points on G. Always look at two views. So yeah, six and five are right there. They're on A and G, so this is 6, and this is 5, and on the plane K, 10 is known. Make sure you check both sides, because so, so 10 and 9 is on top, 10 and 9, and do we know this point? Yes, that is point 8, okay? We know any on D. Yes, we know this one on D is 13, and this one is 2. There. So we know some of those points. We might as well draw them in. Now, as we did uh, in problem 10, this is problem number 5 of the missing view problems, uh, and that is we're going to use... Uh, the coordinate system to we're going to go from the origin here's the origin we're going to call this the origin let's bring this over if we were to say that this box is uh, as an XYZ graph this is the origin this is 0 0 0 and we could say this is X and this is Y and or this maybe is X and that's Y and this is Z but we're not using X Y and Z because we are already using the width here, so this is the width, and we're saying this is going to the right, and this is going to the left. Uh, we're using those descriptive terms. So across here is the depth, and this is coming forward, and this is going backwards into the board, if you will, into the page. Okay, and of course here we're going if we're going up or if we're going down. So we're describing X, Y, Z in width, depth, and uh, vertical up-down uh, descriptive terms. So if we can find any point we want, let's do, uh, I think you'd agree with me that the hardest thing to visualize in here is an is a inclined plane. So let's do plane B, okay, plane B, let's find plane B, which is 1, uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and back to 1. So we go from 1 to 9. Oh, we already got 9, so that's a freebie, right? To 10, we need to find point 11. So let's find point 11. Where's point 11 from the 0, 0, 0? Uh, that is, here it is. So we would go up 6 units, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to point 11. We go neither left nor right, but we do have to go back in uh, 2. So it's 6 up. Uh, zero left, right, and two back. So from here, we go six up, one, two, three, four, five, six, and two back, and that is point eleven. From ten to eleven, we can draw a line. Okay. We can do the same thing from zero. Here's zero. There's zero. To point twelve. But there is a shortcut. If you have a point that's a point view of a line, and we do with 11, 12, uh, 11, 12 right here, 11, 12 is right here. It's a point view of a line, which means that from 11 to 12, we're going straight to the right. We're not going up or down or, or uh, backward or forward, forward or backward. We're just going straight to the right four units, one, two, three, four, and that's point 12, 
and I can then draw that line. So instead of finding three coordinates, I gotta straighten this line over here. Instead of going three coordinates, we only had we we knew we were only doing there's only one change in in distance or place, and that is along the uh, this axis. So that's that's to point twelve, and then there's thirteen. So we just connect the dots. Okay. So this is B. Not B. Not B. Not D. Sorry, B. Now, plane A, plane A is going to be here somewhere. We have point one and two. We're missing three and four. We have five and six. We need point seven. Let's find point seven. So to find point seven, we have to go three up, uh, eleven. Looks like eleven to the right, and two back. So we go three up, eleven to the right, which is at point eight, and then two back. And that's point seven. And connect the dot seven to eight and eight and seven to six. Find point three. From the origin to point three is right here. So it is up four units. It is to the right. Uh, looks like about uh, well, it's right behind nine. Okay. Um, 3 is right behind 9, so okay, 3 and 9 are a point view, so there's 9, we can just go from 9 to 3, from 9 to 3, straight back, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that's the easiest way, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, there's point 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yep, so there's point 3, and point 4 is a point view of 3. So it's uh, directly back from three, two units. So there's four. Let's connect the dots. Two to three. Three to four. Four to five. Okay, now to check your work, whenever you have A is an inclined plane, here it is right there, whenever you have an inclined plane in an isometric drawing, parallel sides like 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, 2, 3, and 8, 9, parallel sides should remain parallel. So 4, 5, 2, 3, 6, 7, 9, 8, they should look really par should look parallel. I mean sometimes we're a little bit off, but they should remain parallel in your isometric pictorial. Okay. If they don't look parallel, uh, check your points where they're supposed to be. The other thing is, if you forget to number all your points, if you forgot to number point 9, you might have been drawing straight from 8 to, uh, to 10. If we forgot to, to number this point, we'd be going from this point to that point instead of through there. So it should have, your contour should have the same number of sides, same number of points, and it should be, uh, it should look very similar to the, the contour in your orthographic view. Okay, so check your work there. Okay, we have the two inclined planes. The third inclined plane is C. It's back here. Okay, it's on the back edge of, of D. That's what we want to find. Uh, we know points 2, 12, and 13. Oh, we know point 14 also. So this is point 14. Uh, so point 13, or sorry, Plane C is defined by 12, 13, 14, 15. 12, 13, 14, where's 15? Well, I can tell you, if you have three points that lie in a line, that plane is an edge view. But we can find point 15. Uh, point 15 is directly behind point 12, four units behind. So here's 12 directly back is in this direction along this projection or this isometric line 1, 2, 3, 4 15 is actually behind point 13 so we're actually looking down the plane C from point 15 
to 13 or 13 to 15. We're actually looking down the plane across those two points and that's why that plane, we're actually looking down, exactly down the plane, down the edge of it. Other planes that we can draw in now, normal planes, E is a square. A square plane is going to look like, or, so our horizontal plane is going to look like a parallelogram. So there's E, 4 by 4. Um, plane H here. This is plane H. So from this point right here, on the bottom right side of H, is this point. And we simply go 12 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then the back side is a vertical plane. Okay, so part of H is hidden. This is called a breakout or a breakaway. It's like a... Uh, it's you can't see all of H. All of H goes this way, do 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 do, and then hidden. We do not show hidden lines or center lines in an isometric. If it helps you to draw a construction line to visualize it, that's okay. Uh, here, from three four back to the left side uh, is looks like ten and a half units back. So it's going across here and we can't see the rest of it. So we can only see part of F. That's, there we go. So that's done. We've got all the planes that we can see. Uh, this one being K. Okay. No hidden lines, no center lines in isometric pictorial.